morning class. Today's lecture will be about the cell cycle and how cells escape and form malignant tumours. The purpose of a cell cycle is to produce two functionally and genetically identical daughter cells from a parent cell. There are many phases in the cell cycle, including the G1 phase, which duplicates the organelles, the S phase, which is the DNA and centrosome replicated stage. G2 phase is cell growth, and then you have the mitotic phase. Any questions? Hmm. 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 The cells in the cell cycle migrate through each phase, producing two identical daughter cells. Exactly. And all these phases are checked by proteins produced by proto-oncogenes and the tumor suppressor genes that work together to ensure the cell cycle runs smoothly without developing any mutations in the daughter cells. Proto-oncogene proteins help to transition the cell to the next phase of the cycle until the two identical daughter cells are produced. And the tumor suppressor proteins halt the cycle to check over the cell growth and replication, ensuring that there are no mutations or de deformities present before allowing the cells to progress to the next phase. Proto-oncogene pushes the cell through each phase in the cycle, just like Julie encourages us to go further and do well each week. Tumor suppressor gene protein ensures the cell continues without any mutation, just like Jody when he checks in with us regularly each week. Cells escape the cell cycle when mutations occur in the proto-oncogenes and tumor suppressor genes, causing the cells to be dysfunctional. When a mutation occurs in the proto-oncogenes, an oncogene is formed which is hyperactive and promotes the push of cells through the cycle. When occurs in the proto-oncogenes, an oncogene is formed, which is hyperactive and over-promotes the push of the cell through the cycle. When a mutation occurs in the tumor suppressor gene, a mutated tumor suppressor protein is formed, which is inactive and does not regulate the checking of mutations, therefore losing its regulatory effect. Gene pushes the cell very quickly through the cell cycle, similarly to Rob's tendency to push us past our limits in class. That is a lie! The mutated tumor suppressor gene limits its regulatory effect, just like how Jody sometimes takes a chilled approach with us. Due to mutated tumor suppressor genes, there is a high risk of dysfunctional cells being produced, which will not be able to be checked thoroughly during the cell cycle. A high volume of these dysfunctional cells Will increase the likelihood of a malignant tumour being formed. Does everyone understand? Yes. yes. Okay, bye.